Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of our advanced detailing in Revit, the sectionally embedded details. For the second part, we're going to look at embedding these particular details in profile families. Uh, you all understand the use of profile families and <coughs> the image below just shows a profile. It's a slabage. If I could just uh, highlight it then that red boundary there is just the simple slabbage and uh, this is an embedded detail if i take you to that particular family then uh, i just want to show you how it looks like it's called 265 upstands cladded so i'll look for that particular family down here it's a profile here it is edit <coughs> now Earlier on I mentioned that in profile families you are not able to use symbolic lines to to show your detail. So the only option you have is to use a detail component. And sometimes you realize that uh, there are actually no proper detail components or sufficient to, to make your detail. So you must make your own detail component. So if I happen to hide then we only have a simple closed loop for our profile it's a slabbage this is what you will also see in 3d you will not see this embedded detail so <coughs> if you for instance edit type of this you'll realize that it is a detail component so i will not use the same example to show you how to make one but we'll start from a different uh We'll start from a set of lines and how you can get to a sectional detail using a profile. So let's say for instance that you you intend to have a wall and show all these details everywhere you cut a section. So what I will do in my case is I will go to file new family and make a new detail item which I want to load into a sectional family so a detail item is just where you place your lines so this is a set of lines there are 2d elements I have in my drawing so I want to embed them in every section <coughs> of such a profile so what I do I select every other thing here filter I don't want to pick uh, text I just want to pick lines I don't want dimensions just want to so apply I copy control C go to my detail item family and paste them here it, it claims it's not able to copy between projects and, and family so I will go back <coughs> and select strictly the detail items I have selected every other thing with the exception of the families, the detail item families. So that is what brings the problem. You can't really copy directly. So what will come in are the other lines minus the detail item families. So those ones like these two I'll edit type and load them into that detail item family and they're quite big so I think I'll choose the smallest size M10 and resize that and that and just keep them there create a copy keep them there like that so we still don't have our profile this is just a detail item So what about the profile? I want the profile to to be a wall profile which will host the all of this element as a 3D representation or something. So I will go to new again family and this time around make my profile family. I want it to be hosted on a wall. So I'll open 
and uh, this is the host face the face of the wall and uh, this is the host the wall itself and the insertion point so I will simply bring in my detail item into the profile we still don't have the profile yet I just want to use this to sketch out my profile so my profile will look something like this remember it has to be just a closed loop so am I able to select yes let me change my units to mm then I sketch the main outlines of my of my profile I just want to pick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and I'll briefly hide double H so that I can get the sketch out so split this trim trim get that there copy this and it must be a closed loop so I'll complete the loop so this is the profile of the 3d element generally in the project what you expect to see and uh, this is what you expect to see in section so once that is done then I can load it into an open project let me use uh, that project there and say okay family too it's, it's already there so I think I have to rename the family file save comp okay load it into project project 6 okay so let me go to any plan say basement 1 and uh, draw a wall let me say this wall 100 from here to here and then I curve it out a bit to there select go to 3d oh, come on let me make it a little bit higher for 150 okay go to 3d I'm not sure why I can't see the wall Let me just draw another wall here. Okay, I'm going to copy this wall here. This is the wall I want to use for my experiment, so I'll make it shorter. I'll make it only 100 high and the experiment I need to I intend to do is <coughs> edit this profile here this copying profile and put our own the one we just created so I'll preview this section then uh, go to sweeps I just want to change it to my new profile okay this is what the profile looks like let me just say okay for now okay okay so that is our profile now if you go to the plan then what we're interested in is the section to this wall which as I said earlier on must be perpendicular to that particular wall there so 
so I don't know why my section lines are not visible. I think I have a strange or oh, a strange uh, view template. Okay, so let me just take this one, cut through here, because this is the wall I just edited, and uh, it has to be perpendicular to this particular wall. So let me align it to. vertical grid say that one then get the section line through it go to view can't see my wall So when you go to that particular section then you begin to see your detail. The smaller you make the the larger you make the scale the the more refined the detail becomes. But the the basis or the basis of doing this is just to you know every time you have your section then you, you see your detail. And I think that isn't detailing in Revit.